Hi guys, Mrs. Barshat here. Quick tutorial. Now that you're in Schoology, how do you submit an assignment? Um, I know it seems like it should be easy and it is easy, so I'm just going to give you a quick guide on how to do that. So what you're looking at right now is the first time you log in or anytime you log in, this is sort of like your homepage. If you notice, like your teachers might have posted something here. You're going to have your overdue or what's due and then upcoming, which would take you to a calendar if you needed it to. But for our purposes today, I'm going to get into courses. You would have all of your courses listed here, English, science, social studies, all of those. For my purpose, we're going to go to this particular class. I am logged in as a student, Mark Twain. I know that's kind of funny. Okay, and then if you look here, you will see with a pencil is an assignment. This particular icon is just a page. It might be a page of notes for you to look at. Bubbles mean discussion, so you would respond to a question that's been posted there. So I am just going to go to the current assignment down here, because this is the one I want to look at. You click on it. This will bring it up. This gives me the directions at the top of what I'm supposed to do. This has an embedded video, so I would watch the video. I'm going to have to answer questions according to the directions and then submit those questions. This is where I'm going to show you how to do this. So you'll see at the bottom is a document. This is where the one that I'm going to download. So you're going to have to download and then upload. So I'm going to click on it. If you notice, it automatically downloaded for me. Please note that all of your downloads, 99% of computers, are defaulted to the download folder. And I will show you that. You could possibly open it from here, um, but if you do not have this, we're going to hit show in folder. It is in downloads. It's this one. Notice I'm in the download folder. I could click, double click. It'll open up the Word document the first time. Well, actually, every time you open a Word document in Schoology, you're going to have to enable editing so that I can change it. First thing I want to do is a file, save as. Then you're going to put it wherever it is you want to put it because you're going to have to remember to upload it, whether that's documents, your desktop, your OneDrive, wherever you would like to. I'm going to select my documents. I'm going to put my name in front of the file name. I'm going to do this with all of the files so that my teacher is clear on who it is coming from. I'm going to hit save. Now I can make changes to each of these pages and just hit save because I know where it's going. Okay, I'm all done. I've answered all of the questions I need to. Okay, save it, exit out. I'm going to exit out everything. The submit button would normally be up here, but because I've been playing, it's there. You can resubmit your assignment too. So if you're not happy with it, you can add it back in again. You can submit it again. So you're going to hit submit. This screen is the same every time you hit your submit button. Okay. There are two ways. There's the upload and then there's the create. If I'm going to upload, I'm going to select a file and that's where I'm going to show you how to go first. So I would select file. The other icon is to record. And hopefully your computer will just go to documents, but if not, you'll have to get to your doc, wherever it is you've saved. So you may have to go to your OneDrive. I put mine in documents. There is my response. And there it is. It's as easy as that. You can put, hey, I had trouble with number two, whatever it is you wanna put there. You do not have to put anything in the comments. You do not have to put anything in there. And then I would hit submit. And there it is again. All right. So how do I submit the other way? So the other way I can do this, I want to hit resubmit. I can do create. Under create, it looks like a Word document. I could type my answers in here. So I could put pros, blah, 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 cons, whatever. Okay. Yes, two, or, or you could do one. No, two, yes, what, however your answers need to be, okay? I don't have time to finish right now. I quickly hit save draft. When I would go back into Schoology, it would still be here. It is not submitted to the teacher at this point, so you don't have to worry about it. You hit edit draft. I'm going to do three, good, okay, and then four. And now I'm, I'm done. I'm like, oh, good, I'm done. 
please note that there is, like I said, spell check, whatever you need to do here. Then I can hit submit from here. Oh, there it is. So as easy as one, two, three. The biggest part is realizing where your documents go when they download. If this does not pop up, if I just click this and I don't click on anything, I might have to go to my computer to find out where my download folder is. Okay, downloads. And then you'll see that it is here. Okay, so just know that. Download, file save as, where are you saving it so you know where it is, then you'll select that file, submit file, and then upload. Um, if you, at any point you are having problems, guys, please don't hesitate to reach out with any questions. You can find me, email me, sbarchette, B-A-R-C-H-E-T, at almerasyschools.com. Good luck. Miss you guys.